What happens when the largest animals on Earth die? Once a whale's body sinks to the seafloor, it creates an entirely new micro-ecosystem that can provide food in the deep sea for decades. This event is called a whale fall. First to arrive are the bigger scavengers, like sharks, hagfish, crabs, eels, and octopuses. Then the worms, clams, and crustaceans will also burrow on the sand nearby to eat leftover bits of the tissue that are too small for the larger animals. They'll eat everything until there's just bones left. This stage can last for a few months up to a couple of years. Then zombie worms burrow into the bones. They don't eat the bones directly, but they secrete acid from their skin to dissolve the bones, releasing fat and protein, and then symbiotic bacteria that live on zombie worms digest that fat and protein. This stage can last for decades. In some whale falls, researchers have also found extremophiles such as tube worms and special mollusks, which were previously only found on cold seep sites and hydrothermal vents. These extremophiles live symbiotically with bacteria that get energy from chemical reactions instead of light.